uh, growing up with my dad being the coach, uh, he was always very intense about tennis, and he always, uh, you know, pushed me. He made me see early on that I could use tennis as a way to um, get a scholarship into school and to have success outside of school. And so um, I'm really appreciative that he pushed, kept pushing me towards it. He, he made me fall. Like, he pushed me into it, and then I and then I fell in love with it. Once I the the better I got, and the more I played. There has been difficult times. Like in the beginning, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I wasn't, I wasn't sure too sure about it how I felt. And now, looking back, I wouldn't have done it any other way. Just, just getting to you know spend spend time with him in the way that I have. Like even though it's been super intense and super competitive, I think it's made me just a better person. Um, well, he's obviously he's our only uh, senior this year, so he's he's the captain of the team, the leader. Um, we look up to him like kind of as a role model. Uh, he's been through it all these last three years, um, and then off the court, like he's just one of our good friends that we always are hanging out with, and uh, can tell like can talk about anything with these guys. And he's definitely one of the guys that are like down to earth and can tell him really anything. We've gone through our struggles this year, but and we're. Uh, we haven't had the greatest start to this year, but finishing strong, winning conference, and making it to the NCAA's, and having a few big upsets would be be the way to go out for sure. Well, I think we're going to finish strong. We're the team's looking up, and we're um, we just had a good win this weekend against conference foe, and um, so I think that's a good good starting point for us if we go from here. We've had a couple of difficult losses so far this season, but I think uh, those losses will just make us stronger for the conference play and end of the season. Uh, see, my whole thing with my kids was uh, I romance into the game of tennis, and that was the whole thing. I hope, I mean, I know they feel that. It's just make it fun, have a great time. I was involved so much with junior tennis that I think I figured it out how to be a parent and a coach at the same time. And the thing about being, the parent was the most important thing, yeah. was to, being a parent, the most important thing was to romance them, have them fall in love with the game like I did. So it's like a musician who loves music, you get him a guitar and you make it fun. Okay, that's the whole thing. The most important thing is not to win. The, most, the greatest feeling, why do we do this? The greatest feeling is to play, all right? The second greatest feeling is to play for others, to play with others, play for, for others. Third greatest feeling is to serve others, to play for others, right? So uh, you serve others, play for others. Then the third thing, that's right, I've gotten my third thing, is do it well. Let's do it well, because it's more fun. Has it been joyous having him here? It's been one of the greatest things of my life. I've been coaching, I said, like 37 years. This has been one of the last four years to have him on the team has been absolutely joyous. I love it. I, uh, I wish, I really don't want it to end. If you want to ask me about Garrett, Garrett is a thrill seeker. He lives life to the max. By that I mean he likes to jump out of airplanes, he likes to climb, he climbed Mount Bora, Mount Rainier, and Mount Hood. I mean, those are mountains that you can die on. And I keep asking, like, would you not do that while you're playing tennis for Boise State? But the thing is, one thing, sometimes I don't like the things he does, but I like the man he's becoming.